game set up for him potentially, but at the same time, I mean, we saw the Rubik from Yapsor how many times now? A million? Yeah. And he, it's a good these Rubik are game. some of the best spells in the game. You get the zip from Storm Spirit, you get Fissure, you get an easy Fiend's Grip if you want from, from Bane. Just an incredible Prepare plethora of skills available for, for Yapsor to take advantage. Yeah, this is the type of game where you can definitely shine on Rubik, but at the same time, I'm happy for Vici that they last picked the Storm, because I think absolutely any other hero, and I would felt like they're just flat out outdrafted, but this hero, if it has a good game, I think can solve some of the problems that they had. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vici actually wanted the Sniper that Secret took, because that's one hero that they could take that has a good matchup against the Razor in the game and can distance himself from a hero like Enigma as well. Uh, but Secret kind of covered their bases very nicely with with this draft. So, yeah, going to see how the lanes go for Vici Gaming. Um, heroes to really watch, watch out for in this game, in my opinion, are the Storm Spirit, as mentioned. I think Earthshaker can play a really big role. I think it's important that Lanham doesn't waste his Fissure because it's going to be necessary to try to cut off the Razor's advances to cancel Black Hole. And on Secret's lineup, Vision is going to be the name of the game here with both the Shrapnel and the Night Stalker. Vision advantage. Secret will try to play a game where they just flat out gain advantages in Vision and then get the better jump. If you just look at this from a flat teamfight perspective, Secret's teamfight is actually not that good. Like they, they have Black Hole, which is a great teamfight ability. Plasma Field deals some damage, but Rubik doesn't really have much to offer in a teamfight unless he steals it. Night Stalker is an atrocious teamfighter, but gives Vision. Sniper is okay. You look at the other side, there's like Echo Slam, Exorcism, Stampede, and even a Storm Spirit who has very few bad matchups in the game. So. Yep, that's definitely true. See if Secret can enforce that type of game plan. I, I think overall I have a pretty good feeling for Vici Gaming if, if Paparazzi gets off. So to is that start. your prediction? Yeah, Vici I think Gaming. I, I will take Vici overall, but okay. only because they picked Storm, else I would have gone against them no matter what. Right. Yeah, not the greatest control for Storm. Secret, that is. Only until the Black, or until Enigma was picked up, their only actual stun other than the mini stun from. Actually, Void doesn't even have a mini stun anymore, right? That's a nighttime. It does at night time. It also does at daytime. I think it was a bug at one point. Oh, that was it did. oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And then it got fixed. But the only actual stun. Oh, Paparazzi. This, this is a classic Storm mid game. Here. Try lane mid. I think the TP out. It's going to be close one. He does get out. It's at his tier one mid. Now he just has to bring out a health cell and he'll be okay. But Fenrir, he's kind of okay with this. He's going to get a lot of XP as a result. Although Paparazzi, it's like he's still going to stick to the lane for now. Yep, so in mid one. See this. This Enfeeble come into play for Fenrir. One of the more annoying spells in the game, to be sure. There's a Telekinesis in the right clicks. This should be first blood for Secret, unless you get the missed chance. He's gonna look through the trees. One more, and down he goes Yapsor with first blood. That's a scary proposition for Vici Gaming. This is one of the can steal this game. biggest benefits from a drafting perspective in having Razor, is that he has a really great matchup against Centaur, so they don't need to do anything tough. They can just try lane mid and not even feel bad about it. It's not like, Oh, we're gonna get pressured in our safe lane. There's no way oh, they're gonna try for it again. Telekinesis into the shrapnel. A second one comes in as well. The TP support in the form of Earthshaker is coming in. The brain sap not nearly enough. Fenrir drops to the deck. Earthshaker didn't even bother finishing the TP, knowing there wasn't a whole lot he could do. I think he should have completed that actually. I think he could have saved it and maybe got them a return kill even. Seeker was starting to get into tower range, but he he decided against it in the end. Of course, TPing in and having no impact is really bad, but. And he might have been Malefist, actually. He's possibly he kind of in trouble here. Canceled, yeah. The Malefist coming into play again. Eidolon's doing a lot of damage. Fissure, nicely done. Lanham should be okay as a Spirit Siphon now for Ori. He doesn't want to waste too much time in the jungle. Really needs to get that farm and XP up in that bot lane. Which, by the way, didn't even mention that. Ori is in the bot lane with Death Prophet. You don't see that very often. Yeah, that is pretty unusual. I wonder why they put the DP bottom instead of mid. They, I feel like the safe lane storm and the mid DP might be better this game. Um, maybe they feel like, okay, Storm is our centerpiece. If we put him against Enigma, he's going to lose farm. But look at what treatment he's getting mid. That's no better for him, yeah. for sure. And I don't think Storm's matchup against Enigma is that bad. He has really good base armor against the Eidolons. He can kill them with Remnant if he comes up close. So Enigma has to always be on his toes with Micro. Just annoying when you're playing Enigma, you know, to have to deal with that constantly. You're speaking about this top lane being a bad matchup for Centaur, but look at the CS. 9-6 to six for Centaur versus 11-5 and five on Razor. Yeah, he's doing surprisingly well. Not too well. bad at all. At the same time, this is also a, cent a Razor that has more creeps running into him, so... Should be like a 50% farm lead for the Razor. Yeah. And well, of course... Well, actually, I'm really impressed with how much Young Eleven has been able to do in this lane. I don't think it should be going this well for the Centaur. Luckily, you don't well, need auto attack damage. Luckily, you just killed edge. It's going to be close, though. Wait, who Azul. Kills him? Oh, my Double gosh. edge. Young 11 
What a beast. <laughs> See, that, that's the thing about Hoofstomp that's so good. You love this spell. He missed it and got the kill because he baited Razor in. He's like, yeah. my stun is so bad that I missed it. And then you can definitely kill me here. I mean, double, double edge, edge five second good. cooldown. I, I do like double edge. I will say that one of my favorite skills in the game. Very satisfying. Uh, and with that kill, Young Eleven, despite I'm, the the I'm odds so against impressed. him, he's showing a really good understanding of what his hero can get away with in this matchup. Obviously, double edge is his key to killing the Razor. Razor will drain his damage, and he won't have much to do. But um, when you come in close and have this amount of damage, if if Razor has to yield, he's not that s scary anymore. When he's running away from you, he doesn't do anything. And Young Eleven. Big kill for him. I, I have to say, I'm so surprised that this happened. But yeah, you don't get to see that all too often. Yapsor is going to run into that very same centaur, who <laughs> looks like he really wants that bounty, but it's not there. So he's just going to eat a tree and be on his way. And this is big, too. It's not just that he gets the kill and he gets a key item for this lane. I would say Tranquil Boots is definitely the way he can sustain himself in lane for sure. Like, Razor will keep trying to play aggressively and drain him. Whatever damage Razor does, a young Eleven doesn't really care too much. He's going to heal it up afterwards, and he will find his moments of opportunity. And now that he has this, he can cast Double Edge off cooldown, just go on Ace and do some damage, heal it back up, and force Ace to buy regen, which is obviously annoying for this Razor. He wants to ramp up as fast as possible, like phase boots Aquila. He needs to buy a couple salves along the way. It's not that great. And Young Eleven will be getting fast level 6 as well. Yeah, and Stampede this game is extremely good. Yes. Obviously the Enigma has a lot to cancel it, but other than Telekinesis, if, if it's a Night Stalker trying to get a gank off, that's not going to do a whole lot with Stampede available. They're seeing the Centaur really hate on Lan M here, who's level 2 on the Earthshaker at the moment. Pulling the creep a little bit farther, trying to get a Fissure out here. Looks like he'll get a little bit of farm as a result. And Ori getting close to level 5. Now 25 and 12 in the CS department for him, so Essentially a free lane, I guess you could call it, in a lot of ways. It's free lane minus Enigma influence. And you have the hook stop again. Yep, so not quite close enough right now as Young Eleven still working towards that, that level six for himself. And you can tell he's he's going he's playing aggressive on ace when he can. He did four hundred damage to him there. Got the stomp and the double edge off, backed off, healing up with tranquils. Oh, Yapso's actually going to run into him here. Has the vision. Yeah, he does. Telekinesis. Looks like he's faking that hoof stomp. And Ace continues the pressure. The plasma field's only level one, not dealing that much damage. One more right click will do it. He does have vision, and he will get the kill as a result, of course. Now they know there is a ward there, but definitely worth... That's worth sacrificing more for. Absolutely. Paparazzi now level five in the mid lane, mid one. Looks like he's going to give up that rune, which is a double damage for Paparazzi. Of course, once he hits six, that is a very scary rune to get. Oh, we should, much any stage of the game. We should mention for this mid lane that this is a very sniper favorite matchup until Storm hits level six. Like there's there's these matchups that are very intriguing to me, where one hero is bad against the other one in lane, and then is strong against it in game plan later on. This yep. is one of those examples where Storm loses matchups against a lot of heroes that he's actually really good against. Storm great against sniper when he gets farmed. Another good example would be Storm against Tinker matchup that we see pretty frequently, at least in pub games, because Tinker is being picked a lot right now. Try to counter pick it with Storm. Tinker gets a free lane, and then it's about like, do you get a fast hex? Then Storm still is annoyed. But sniper doesn't really have any tools. Like, wh what can he possibly buy so that Storm can't be annoying for him in the in the mid? game there is no item for sniper like that so they yeah. definitely have to protect mid one going forward now that storm has had a this good laning stage i'm saying that he has 30 cs minus 7 and sniper's 35 that is very good but a lot of denies though from snipers so yes, the level advantage is definitely going away of sniper this Bottom time lane. Now Ori, is supplied not reaching you black hole is available but yeah not not quite in range this time yep so gonna hide in the trees at the moment place a ward in nice fact ward. I like wards like these a lot. This is something we talked about. I'm not sure if it was yesterday or the day before. Oh, hang on. Oh, you're now the whole time. Wars is going to see Hosami into a double edge and Fissure to follow. Young Eleven and company will clean up that pesky Razor. Mid one did TP here. He's going to get an assassinate off, but a nice nightmare and the Stampede. BG will get away safely. Yep. The mid one back to farming, but this time in the top lane. Let's see if he traverses his way to another, another lane or not. So let's see if we have a little bit of time to cover what I was getting at here. So. Uh, we talked about it yesterday or the day before that these lane wards are becoming more popular where you place less quote-unquote ideal wards. You have maybe less map vision or it's not the best map vision you could have in the area. But because they're um, less easy to deward, sometimes it's better to have like maybe 75% of the vision or in a slightly worse area just knowing that you have it for the full duration. The chance that this ward of Yaps or bottom lane will get deward in the next five minutes is really low. So, oh, got a Malphys on Ori again. Black Hole is available. Fatsa not pursuing this with Night Stalker. They don't have enough damage. 
Yeah, what is Puffy's skill build, by the way? This is what do we got here? Two, zero, one, holding on to a skill. He was point. holding two skill points, actually. Oh, we have a nightmare. TP support in the form of Night Stalkers here. That means that Young Eleven and company are getting out of dodge. Stampede not quite available yet for Young Eleven. It's going to get a hook stomp off, but it's not going to connect because it is the worst stun in the game. Young Eleven on the run, half HP. Assassinate coming through. It's going to be close. He's going to get it. And that is a much needed kill for mid one. He is the top of the net worth charts right now, 3,700. If only he had level one boundless strike there. He definitely would have survived Sun's fan, am I right? Boundless strike? Yes, that's Monkey King stun. It would have been better, at least. It's easier to hit. I mean, can well, that you... value 0.4? <laughs> I always have these very passive aggressive comments towards centaurs if I, I have a relationship with him. I Ace. know. It's the one hero you know how to play, so you have a feeling about it. You know, I was sixth all time on Centaur for. Okay, that's <laughs> that's quite the stat. <laughs> uh, right now, Slax is actually trying to beta test this the stat system for Valve. Hopefully, they're watching and they can improve the system as as best they can. Yeah, we definitely need them to change the system so it fits Slax better. That would be yep. why not why great not? improvement. Arcane boost right now. Oh. Oh. Looks like we have a Stampede Fissures. Can't get up the hoofs. Oh, not yet, at least that Nightmare. Horribly. Yeah, I'm not sure if they wanted the, the Fissure on that side, but either way, it looks like Lan M gets Telekinesed. Secret will not be able to follow through, though. Hoof Stomp taken by, by Yap, so he's not going to be had. That's literally the worst spell you can get in this game, actually. Literally every other spell is like 10 times better in this game, I want to say. And Feeble is better than Enfeeble. Enfeeble's definitely better, JJ. Better than Feeble. You? I don't know. <laughs> don't shake your head. Young Eleven getting static link, but he's gonna turn around the double edge. Lots of damage as Yapsor gets the okay, there's the Echo Slam solo from Lan M. Yapsor gets the hook stop off. It was a decent one, I won't lie. Double edge is oh. enough to help take him out. Look how low Vici are. So Yapsor was trying there. He got the lift off in the nuke and the hoof stomp, and he was trying to steal double edge, but the last spell cast by old eleven was the hoof stomp. If he had stolen double edge though, that's a double kill. And maybe he even, I think he would have been killed by Fenrir after, but that would have looked really good. And been pretty big for him. He would have got full level, more or less, but... Is there a thing... I don't think is, there was a play for him there, actually. Is there such a thing, no like, let's say mid to late game, right? Mm -hmm. Are there too many good spells? Is that a thing for Rubik? You just have too many... Like, you can't even begin to understand which one to, to pick is up. Is this some of your rock, paper, scissors shit? It's, it's a mind like, game. No, like, it's not. It, it's more... There's so many to choose from. I, I don't like know a, what to it, do. Like Everything I do is really high impact, no, so I'm like, going to do none of them. It's like a, having a buffet, but you can't eat it all. You can only eat some of it. You're yeah. going to get too full. Isn't that great? <laughs> I am American. <laughs> uh, I just end up eating it all anyway. Ori, level 9. Looks like Exorcism. When did he use that? Did I miss that? Uh, yeah, I missed it too, actually. I guess he did some damage to the bottom top. Nope. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this this stat box has no title or icon. It's just going to so stay up there the whole Valve time? Valve already having that hot fix. Thanks for that. I can't wait to see this no. <laughs> Ace is going to be jungling for now. He is level 9. We'll see. Gets a nightmare off. Does Fenrir. Fiend's Grip is available. And zipping in is Paparazzi. And Ace... Looks like he'll find his way to the grave with one more right click. Fata with the black hole onto two. Yapsor's here as well, has the Fable available to go. The Assassinate, not quite enough to take out Paparazzi. Fenrir still on the run. It's going to be close as Young Eleven now. Looks like they will get that Bane. And I think that might be it as Young Eleven Malefist up. Lanham is here with Paparazzi. A little bit greedy, but taking that bounty room for himself. Going to fill that bottle up. Puppy level 6 on his way up. It's Fata just getting spirits. I think zipping in again. Nice assassinate for mid-1, though. Ends up being a 2 for 2 over this 30-second exchange. These Fishers from Lightham have not been the best this game. He's generally on point. But has been hitting them a bit on the wrong oh, side. They get to pay for it there. Crippling fear into the void. Ace with that plasma field assassinate coming through again, but they don't even need it. A double kill for mid-1. That is a hero you do not want to give up kills to this early on. And all of this was... I mean, this was a bit chaotic in the first place with everything that happened. I think the biggest thing for Secret is that Paparazzi died rather than Midwalk getting the kill. They want to slow down Storm's progression. And, uh, I think if, if the Fisher from Lanham is better there, Paparazzi doesn't even need to jump in the first place to try and secure that kill. But a little bit of a misplay, it gets punished. We have an Fenrir item. finds Puppy. Yep, Puppy we did. Have a nightmare. Hoof stomp. Double edge. Zip in again from Paparazzi. That's more than enough damage to take Puppy to his grave. And they're actually going to zip in jump. even further. Very little mana to speak of, but they really want this sniper. The telekinesis is there for Yapsor. Stampede to follow. Though they really want this mid one kill, and it looks like they'll find it. A double kill for Paparazzi. Another hero you don't want to get kills on. Yep. If you're oh. secret. 
get straight back into it there. And Blink Dagger was shown there, by the way, by Young Eleven, so they will have that initiation possibility. He's, so, he's having such a good game on the Centaur. Yeah, that's probably the most surprising thing, I think, uh, for me in the first 13 minutes of this game, that Centaur did not get completely dumpstered in that He has the same net worth as Razor. Um, yeah, that's that is not what Secret were expecting, for sure, when they set these lanes up. Um, so yeah, the, the, the silver lining... The silver lining for Secret that fight is that they stole Stampede at the end of it. So there is a, a play potential now for uh, for Secret. Maybe a smoke gank into Stampede with Black Hole could be an interesting play. That's a minute for that. That should be long enough time for Spell Steals to stay online. Yep, he will have it for sure. Uh, they can try to use it to get Razor in a great position for some draining. Oh, or he's going to use it right off the bat yeah, to initiate exactly onto the Earthshaker. He's crippling feared and will be brought down one way or the other. And Yapsor's like. Oh, if only I had worse spells to choose from, as he steals Fissure. <laughs> has a really big issue with this. I'm sure he would have loved to steal another spell than that. Well, think of, think of it, I'm, I'm more thinking about like 40 minutes in the game. You have like, like five spells at a time that you want, okay, and so you have to choose. I think you know I get I mean? your point here, is that you're, it's difficult to focus because there's so many different things you're looking for at the same time. And then the window's gone when you... I mean, I gave you the buffet analogy. I don't know why that wasn't good enough. But yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Okay. Puppy right You're wrong, now. though. I don't think oh. so. Nightmare. Oh, nightmare up, and this should be an easy kill. There's absolutely no members of Secret around. Remember when Night Soccer was a tanky hero? No. I do. That was a long time ago. You can still be played as a core sometimes. Right I feel now, like it's very, not yeah, it, I would say these days, not, not so much. I mean, maybe in Captain's Draft, though. I'm a little bit surprised we haven't seen that, maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah, we've seen true. the mid-dazzle, the offlane ogre. The, the ogre worked. Technically speaking, <laughs> I don't think it should have, but uh, I mean, once he got the Aghanim Scepter, like you said, it's uh, that was a game-breaking I didn't pick up in that game. Yeah, we were laughing when he got that kill for a thousand gold outside the Radiant Base and might have actually ended up winning them the game. Yeah, and he got that 1k bounty. Made a big difference. All right, Vici on the Prowl. Far away from a Blink Dagger on Shaker, so the initiation has to come through Young Eleven or a Fissure. And uh, Ace is going to run right into this smoke gank. The hoof sample will miss. Nice Fissure from Yapsor. And double Fissure now coming up from the other side. And there's the Fiend's Grip. An easy kill onto Razor. Nice attempt from Yapsor, but not enough this time around. Steel Stampede will use it to get away. Always handy being a Rubik in this situation, but he gets caught out for now. Hooks up cancel with the silence. Lots of damage coming out from the side of Vici Gaming. Mid one in the meantime, the Black Hole onto three heroes with Paparazzi. No mana to speak of. Death Prophet's gonna go down. Echo Sam comes out. It's one for two. Death Prophet extremely low, gets Yules, and one right click takes him down from mid one. A nice turnaround there for Sika. It looked bad at the beginning, but that Black Hole definitely turned it around a bit. There's just like, it's like, I have a really hard time remembering the last game I watched a Yapsor Rubik game, and there isn't a moment like this one. Like, this, he's always going to find some sort of, of way to make these plays. And, you know, that wasn't an aggressive play, but he ended up baiting the whole team into an awful position there for Vici Gaming just by stealing Stampede. He runs away, he anticipates the Blink Dagger from Centaur, he jukes off to the left side, and in order to kill him, they start clumping up on the left side and gets three-man Black Hole there by Fata. And that was without a Blink Dagger, by the way. Enigma just walked in and got a three-man hole. That is very unusual. Yeah, he doesn't even look to be going towards Blink anytime soon, at the very least. Going to be finishing these drums, and it looks like BKB is on the horizon. There's two drums on the side of Secret. They're going to have a lot of drum charges. Razor, or rather, Rubik went drums as his first item as well. We have some TPs here. From Ace, can get zipped on right off the bat. Paparazzi with the stun. First one coming in. Silence onto two. Hoof stomp. Only going to be on one hero, Assassinate coming through the Stampede, defensively used. Looks like Bane's going to sacrifice his life for the betterment of his team. Plasma Field connecting on a few heroes. Looks like Ori's going to drop with that. Yule's keeping alive a little bit longer, but it's still a kill nonetheless. Secret, 2k lead, 17 and a half minutes in the game. It looks like a tier one will go their way. Each again, having these moments of... Uh... I'm not, I'm not sure how to describe it. Just, that was really not good. <laughs> they dove into this tower. They didn't have information about Seeker's whereabouts. Even they actually did have a ward between the towers and still chose to go on this really difficult kill. And you could tell that they weren't on the same page. Like his hesitation. Storm jumps in. He's like, this is probably a bad idea. He jumps out. Young Eleven is like, no, it's a great idea. Let me go in right after you jumped out. And there's like no follow up. And Vichy just catch themselves in this awful position and get punished really hard. Um, maybe starting to see a little bit of nerves from them. They've been really calm and collected, but. At last game, we need to not allow well, to get to you and that, just reset. That's the question. We talked about this off, off uh, mic, I believe. The, the mental game, not, I'm not going down that road, don't worry, but the mental game where you have this massive lead, you don't feel like you could lose. We didn't think they could lose. 
you said 95 to 5, you would have been higher than 95% in that game. Yeah. What kind of mental attitude do you have to have after a game like that? I mean, you, the, the ideal thing you do is that you realize, okay, our draft was good, we played really well for a long time, and then we dropped the ball and we made a big mistake. And the, the same thing is not going to happen in the next game, so we can't really spend too much energy on it. There isn't that much to learn from that game, except don't fuck up when you're old, you know? <laughs> so, uh, in this good game... Good lesson to learn. They, they just need to, you know... Focus on the, the all the things they did right and, and replicate it. In this game, they, they also had a lot of good moves. They're just making a couple of mistakes that just are not... It's not the same quality of gameplay as in Game 1 from BG, I feel, in this. Uh, so the question is if they manage to reset or if they're just a little bit less comfortable with the lineup that they have, the heroes that they're playing. Who knows? Who do you take late game on paper? Because you can go a lot of ways with this. Obviously, I think the biggest wild card in a scenario like that is actually the Rubik. Because... Rubik. Like we said, some of these spells can be completely game-breaking just by stealing and using it in an effective manner. Yeah. We're going to see a zip in. Doesn't look like he's going to go onto, onto Fata, though. I think the guy we just saw there has a big impact in late game as well. Yep, as well. And Never underestimate in Enigma in late game. It's it's difficult. Like, if we're talking very late game, like 50-plus minutes, it's always really hard to go against the Enigma team, especially when you're looking at a lineup they're facing that has one black hole BKB counter, which is Fiend's Grip. So if that guy is accounted for at all, Fata will just be able to black hole whoever he wants. Fight Vichy with a very dangerous positioning, but could pay off big time if they manage to get a good jump here. Paparazzi trying to get some vision with that static remnant. Puppy gets vision first of the crippling fear. Black hole only on one. They're going to get canceled from that fissure right off the bat. The Midnight Pulse doing a lot of damage. Assassinate coming through. Don't think it's going to be enough. He's actually going to cancel or in the meantime gets the Yules off onto Ace. Not going to follow through for now. Paparazzi actually gets really a quick regen from rune. That was important. Vici Gaming. So they know black holes on cooldown. They, if they paid attention, they would know Razor used his ultimate. Uh, that was darkness as well. So a lot of stuff used by the Dire. All that Vici used there was the Stampede. So they might look for a play here. They're finding Puffy. Yeah. Regen rune applied to Paparazzi. This is going to be an easy kill on the Night Stalker. You have to think. Lanham is here. TP support coming in though. Telekinesis. Looks like they'll be able to clean up Young Eleven at the very least. That's not a bad trade. One for one. For secret, at least. Yeah, Corp of support. They're surely happy with this. Especially considering Vici Gaming got the jump there. But it took them quite a while to kill off Puppy. He has gone for a more tanky item build now. And he has the chainmail. I'm and... pretty sure that regen is still applied to Paparazzi. Very scary here to deal with. 15 charges on that Bloodstone. Yapso will be the choice. Gets silenced and brought down. Eventually. <laughs> there he goes. This time they... I think Vici are going to play more aggressively on Yapsor. I think they're fed up with how much he gets to do in these fights. So Storm will be maybe changing his uh, approach a little bit going forward, trying to jump the Rubik, surprise him, and have any follow-up. When he gets the Orchid, it gets really easy. Then it's actually awful playing Rubik in this game against a, uh, an Orchid. Storm, until then, you can obviously get the lift if you're quick on your fingers and you see him coming in. Yeah, but I think the scary thing for Secret is Vici now has ridiculous initiation. Obviously, we've seen Paparazzi in that Storm. We've seen the Blink Dagger on the Sentinel. And now we have a blink available on Lan M. And did we, did we even way. talk about the one on Ori? That's very unusual to see this item build on Death Prophet. That, huh. is, that is very strange. It's probably... He feels like he can't really get in against this lineup because he has to walk through Midnight Pulse. He has to walk through like Bad Vision and Shrapnel. So he feels, okay, if I have a Blink Dagger, maybe I can just Blinking on the back line, catch the Sniper and take are the you, fight from there. Are you able to Blink out of Yules defensively if there's a Shrapnel or Midnight Pulse down? Yes. Is there enough I, time to do it? it? It depends on your timing. So Yules is two and a half and the cooldown is three, right? So if you do it half a second after taking a damage instance, you should be okay. Uh, I think Shrapnel deals damage, is it every once a second, I believe? Pretty sure. No uh, idea. I'm not sure how often Midnight Pulse does. I think both of them do it once a second, but it could be wrong. And Paparazzi and company grouping up towards this top lane. He is now the top net worth 16 Bloodstone charges. So picked up a couple since uh, buying that bad boy. And looks like Orchid will be the choice for him. Pretty impressive he only died once this game. That was the first blood in mid. Yeah, that's true. Or was it? <laughs> uh, it was one of the first kills, at least. Yeah, he died very, yeah, one of the first ones for sure. Mid one with the Mask of Madness, Crystalis. Looks like Force Staff into Hurricane Pike will be uh, the next next thing for him is Fata. Well, he actually will be going Blink, potentially. Might be saving for the, the BKB first, though, depending yeah. on how much gold Keeping he has. Options open here on the quick buy. The moment which, which do you prefer for him right now? If I you think BKB is better. 
you could be into Blink, and then... Yeah, the only thing that cancels would maybe. be Fiend's Grip, I believe. Yes. Do, do you think Lincoln's at some point this game after BKB is, is something you look could, for? Or? Could be a luxury after Blink. If he feels like he's having problems with the Bane canceling his Black Hole, it just wants to have the full confidence that he can't get countered, I can see that. If they feel like they can account for the Bane in some other way, then Fata can get... Uh, either Octarine Core is a cooldown reduction item. Uh, he can try to get Shiva's Guard if you think that is useful. Or can obviously go for a Refresh Orb, but I don't think have the mana pool for that with this item build. Yeah, and Roshan. of course, does not have any talents that help with that. Roshan being destroyed by Vici. Secret. Not sure if they knew about it or not, but regardless, did not defend. I hate Slex. I didn't read it. I never read any of the stuff he says. We have a smoke, though. This is the first Roshan of the game. It will not have a cheese. <laughs> Great For know. new viewers out there, yeah, cheese is, uh, is Roshan 2 and onward. And the fresher shard is Roshan 3 and onward. Thank you, and so Ion much. Cannon is Roshan 7 and onward. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. You make fun of it now, Cinder. It's going to happen at some oh, point. Oh, paparazzi. Future. Oh, boy. Paparazzi jumps in. Dealing considerable damage. There's the Fiend's Grip. Look at that range, but it gets cancelled right off the bat. Yapsor steals it for himself. He's gonna use it on Paparazzi, but again, gets cancelled again. Paparazzi on the other side it's of the figure. Stomp. Hook stomp onto two. Here comes the Shrapnel in mid one and the Mask of Madness. On the backside, Ace is taking the brunt of the damage with that Spirit Siphon. He's getting extremely low. Will fall. It'll be a trade of sorts, a one for oh. one for now. Looks like the Spirit Siphon going to work as Paparazzi jumps in again. The Echo Slam onto three or four heroes. A lot of damage being applied. The Storm Spirit will lose Aegis. And Ori getting very low. In fact, looks like Seekit might be able to clean up here potentially. But Storm Spirit back with that Aegis. And he's going to try to finish everybody off. Looks like the only remaining member will be fought on Secret's side. Rare mistake from Fata there. Uh, he changed his mind. He cast Black Hole and he wanted to animation cancel it, but it already got off. So... Um, that is basically why Vichy Gaming won that fight. The moment that Black Hole was cancelled, they're like, go, 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 we can all go in. And then they cluster up because they know that play doesn't exist. It's difficult for Shaker to go for that Echo Slam with Enigma is on the sideline there. He'll just immediately Black Hole after, but with that cooldown out of the window, Vichy get the most out of that moment. It did cost them their ages, though, so not all too bad for Secret, all things considered. Like, if you waste a Black Hole like that, it often has really severe consequences. This was like a, a minor win for Vichy, so... Secret can probably reset and get ready for the next fight with next Black Hole. Looks like Ace is working towards an SNY right now on the Razor. Uh, Paparazzi, of course, has been pretty much out of control this game. 13k. That's the first time he died, but it was with the Aegis, so it didn't lose any charges. Obviously one of the best Aegis carriers in the entire game. But that was a pretty fast fight after that Roshan, so he won't be up for a long time, so they won't have that to work with at all. See yep. if Secret tries to capitalize on that or not. Of course, on Secret's side, I wouldn't say it's a very good Roche team at all. No, uh, absolutely not. Vici can it's definitely okay. take it quite fast. So yes. expect them to try to continue with that pressure overall in this game. So the one thing Secret have for Roche is the current medallion on Night Stalker is probably going to complete a solo crest eventually. Um, but aside from that, their lineup indeed not very good at killing Roche. So uh, I feel like this game is going to be a little bit quiet for a while. I think oh, Vici... 75 damage on Centaur. He, he hit Stampede. For what reason is unknown. Stampede for what? I don't know. It's actually oh. one of the easiest spells for Rubik to steal in any game. <laughs> I was going to say it's one of the easiest spells to use by mistake. Like, why? <laughs> well, sometimes the R key is. Yeah. You know, you get trigger happy sometimes. It's easy to steal if you're in range. Like, as long as you see him when it's cast, but you know, there's a lot of fights where you can actually use Stampede and it can be impactful, and Rubik can never steal if you're on the other side of the map and you're stampeding your team. Well, of course. But if it's in, the middle, in the middle of the fight, absolutely, because Centaur's other spells have a decent cast time, so. Indeed. Not too difficult to steal. Currently sitting on Ball Lightning. Uh, something we haven't mentioned at all in this game is how Yapsor's playing with Null Field. That's obviously oh, something to keep in mind, but let's wait on that. Young 11, here, young Air 11. Ball. I've seen that before. Yep. That's what that skill was created for. <laughs> To be missed over and over again. Uh, he has a Saint Shield. We'll be going Halberd. We don't get to see that very often, but obviously Great, you can... Sniper and Razor. I'd say more against Razor, because you're probably not going to be catching up to Sniper in most cases. He does have the... I believe he has Hurricane Pike, right? Yeah, well, you have... A... What is this? I don't want to read this. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help Slacks out. Tweet at him. Give him all the information you need. He needs all the stats. Give him all muster. the information that you can so that he can use none of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paparazzi though, he's looking quite good. 
going towards the BKB and the build for, for Ori on Death Prophet, he has the 10 second BKB now. He, although he's been dying a lot, he still has a very good net worth and very defensive build means he's going to stay alive that much longer. Yep. I have to ask you though, did you at least get the reference of Flexes? I didn't read it. Okay. I just laughed because you were laughing. So I know you. I, just I know it. you absolutely despise rap music and hip hop in general. Yes. You do not like it, but the reference was to. No, I forgot his name. That's pretty bad. That's gonna make me look. Thanks for too. bringing it up, Cinderin. Thanks for <laughs> wasting everybody's time. Why well, can't I think of it? Notorious B.I.G. There we go. Okay. There, there we you go. go. You I got, got it, it, buddy. I got it back. I my mind just. I've heard for of that moment. guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Meantime. <laughs> Shadow play. Have you actually even heard the name before? No, I have. You have? I have. It's, I, uh, I feel like it's a basketball would, player, if, right? If you, yeah, absolutely. If you would like, if you would like any rap music, it would probably be Notorious B.I.G. Okay, that would be something. I'll for you. definitely check it out. Not Puppy and Company are smoked up. Yeah, so with the telekinesis, assassinated on its way. Great Nightmares fisher. there. Though. He's gonna pop the BKB and avoid the damage. Here comes the zip in by Paparazzi. Fata. He comes in with the black hole only on one, but it's a lot of damage by the Ori. So has the BKB applied to Cyclone. Not gonna keep him alive. The oh. Echo Slam onto a huge damage. Ace trying to finish off some heroes. The Nightmares are very good this game, but it's a two for two. The Sniper dead for Seeker, and it looks like they're on the run. Is Ace, the double kill for Paparazzi. Lan M, looks like he's gonna get zipped down by Yapsor, who stole that Storm Spirit ultimate. It's out of mana. That is definitely oh a concern. God, Paparazzi, the hook stop connects into the double edge. Triple kill for Paparazzi. Fata, again, the lone survivor. He, was, he did a lot of damage with that black hole. He was millimeters, or should I say inches, away from getting a two-man black hole there. If you got Storm in that hole, that's a big team fight win yes. for Secret. So on the edge, right there for Vici Gaming. Paparazzi doing a great job. This is something that, uh, you know, you have to be careful with with Storm. A lot of the time you can start tunnel visioning in fights. You just jump a guy, you want to do as much damage as possible. Paparazzi's being, he's jumping a lot around. He's not doing the maximal amount of damage at all with his Storm Spirit plays, but he's making it as hard as possible for Secret to isolate him and bring him down in the fight. And oh I boy. really like what he's doing here. So he's gonna oh, start he gets this kill. Onto the Sniper Puppies here with the Crippling Fear though. They might be able to get this. Pops that BKB, zips away with very low HP. He's on the other side of the map. I mean, he does have 23 Bloodstone charges after all. Not gonna, not gonna stay any further. We'll just go back to base, play this quite disciplined. Does, does not, not feel good to use your first BKB like that. No, it's better than dying. So. Don't blame him for trying on that sniper kill. I think most players do the same now. In the middle of nowhere, if sniper TP's in and there's no backup behind him, he will die in mere seconds. But quick reaction from Puppy on the silence and then Enigma stun to force the game. Lan M is going to have a huge impact on this game. Maybe not right now because he might be found out. Sentry is placed. Static link. Nice stampede. Second See if centimeter. they have any more vision. Paparazzi is here to save the day potentially. Hoofstone applied into the double edge. And it looks like Puppy will find his way to the grave. Well, or Paparazzi getting... very oh. low H or very low on mana. Maybe they'll have to take him down here. Does have the deniability with the bloodstone. We'll see if he has to use it or not. Nice fissure onto two. The urn keeping Paparazzi a little bit healthier. And it looks like he should be able to get away. Unless Secret really want to dive this further. Ori just vanished in that fight. He got targeted by Sniper for like three seconds and just Oh, yeah, Sor really looking for that. Should be a kill here. Centaur. Get the telekinesis. Oh, they're a bit scared of yeah, the response. They, they actually don't have the vision here. For us, it looks like an easy kill, but Secret don't feel confident. They, if they had any vision in this left side of the map, they would have probably committed for that Centaur kill. But what if backup is behind him? They now back we out. see the, the Halberd picked up. Yep, good item here. He, they need to protect Ori better than this. He can't just run in like that and get blown up. Uh, the Death Prophet had minimal impact in that fight, and she is still a very integral part of their lineup. We're obviously talking a lot about Storm. He is the big hero right now. He's not going to be able to do it on his own. Uh, this Halberd could help. It's, it's Medusa, or Medusa, that's right. If this Death Prophet jumps in, Centaur follows through with the Halberd on Sniper. They can feel pretty safe in Death Prophet not dying, at least, during oh that Halberd duration. We have an Arcane Rune on Paparazzi. That's, that's a little scary. Good rune on Storm. I think it's Storm's third best rune. I mean, I think he ranks number one on at least three runes uh, holding. Double damage. He's the arguably the best for regen. Arcane, double damage. There's still a lot double of damage. He's maybe top five, but... Yeah. Double damage like, PA is something. Yeah, young 11. Doesn't have a whole lot of mana. He's going to have to pop that Stampede. The Malph is keeping him in place. And the Assassin, not quite enough to actually get the kill. But Yapsor with the double edge. Typically, the worst skill to get on a Rubik will actually find the kill with it. 
deals a lot of damage with the aggressive null field as well. I wanted to talk about that earlier, that Yapsor for the majority of this game has been playing with aggressive null field. Um, with his lineup, it makes a lot of sense, but the defensive one is not bad either for his team, as we see a dead dog. And it's going to be close. All right, Defender finished the mop. Ace a little bit too late to the party. He doesn't have a whole lot of mana to speak of, though. And Vici Gaming are going to be happy with another Bloodstone charge added to Paparazzi. At what point does he become almost, let's say, I was going to say unkillable, but yeah, we'll just say unkillable. 24 charges right now. He's unkillable if he doesn't get Black Hold already. And BKB, the can't touch this guy. So, um, During Black Hole, I think if Sniper gets another damage item, I think he will always be susceptible. Like, right now, he might not even die in a Black Hole if he has BKB off. Like, uh, Sniper does not hit that hard just yet, and Storm has 11 armor. And we'll be getting a Shivas. At least at that point, he will survive. For sure. So, I'm uh, still clearly favoring Vici in this game just because of the position the Storm Spirit is in, but it doesn't take much of a slip up to get Enigma. It's one good black hole that will allow Secret to. Well, not only the heroes, efficient. but I mean, last game, if that's any indication. That's true. Just giving Secret in general a second life. Not that they're very far behind right now. I guess the good news for Vici is that statistically they have a higher win rate against Secret if they do not have a 15,000 gold lead to throw away. So, yep, that's trying to have a better chance. Indeed. Here goes Rose. This Indeed will be a big used. moment. It will. Double damage applied to Paparazzi. He's going to do a lot of damage this fight. They're going to find Ace off the bat, or he's going to pop BKB. Looks like the Earthshake is going to be going down. Big black hole onto four heroes. Do they have the damage to follow it up, though, is the real question. It doesn't look like it as Yapsor gets taken down. It's a double kill for Paparazzi. Mid one still. Applying a lot of pressure from the high ground. Nobody's really going towards him. It's a two for one. Earthshaker will be up in 60 seconds. Didn't get to use really any spells. He could not have got a bla better black hole than that. That was the absolutely best possible play in the fight from Fata, and it still wasn't enough. The double damage storm, and they're staying alive with this really tanky centaur. 3,000 health and hood, halberd, evasion. Well, you kind of brought it up in the beginning of the game. They have the black hole as far as team fight is concerned, and what else is there? Yeah, Plasma field is really pretty negligible at this point. I think. I actually think Secret's problem right now is mid one's item build more than anything. It's, I understand where he's coming from, getting some of these defensive items. Like, he feels like I'm playing in Storm Spirit, I have to protect myself and right. be able to escape. But the fact of the matter is that even these great black holes, where's the damage? This sniper does not hit hard. He has a Crystalis, a Pike, a BKB, and Mask of Madness. This is 15,000 net worth, of which maybe 3k effectively contributes to significant damage. There's not that Daedalus, there isn't that maybe, oh, I what, guess the old MPB would have been good. But what would you sub in then? What would you? I think he finishes the Daedalus. And I, you know, it's just it's just really difficult, right? Like that's why the storm pick is so good because if there was no storm in this game, I can guarantee you mid one was not be itemizing like this. He would be getting very different items. But at this point, I think you definitely finish Daedalus, and then you might go for a secondary damage item right after that, and you just play with what you have. You have BKB and Pike. I don't think you can get more defensive items now. Yep. So. I don't know if a value Deso could have been a thing this game. I'm not that big a fan of the item in general on Sniper, but like, they just need anything to kill heroes with. Because you see, like it's the same story for Razor, right? Like That's just the nature of the hero. If he doesn't get a good static link off, his damage is also pretty insignificant. Yeah. His all defensive items, Sanjin Yasha, Hood, Drum, and the uh, Ring of Aquila. So. Well, this next few minutes for Team Secret will be very crucial indeed. We have a Storm Spirit who's essentially unkillable in most situations now with an Aegis. And we have cheese this time on Ori. I think that's actually the bigger thing because Ori's yeah. the one dying in fights. And he's always like 10 HP and then he yules himself and yeah. there's no way to really get out. It's just uh, this is yeah, that's pretty scary. One for of the Secret. best heroes in, in the game to have cheese on, I think. Storm is obviously a great candidate as well. They could have considered doing that, but obviously you want the Aegis on Death Prophet is really bad. Oh, is Centaur going for a heart? Is he really doing this? Oh, oh my looks like. goodness, that's, that is, oh, that's so good. That's a lot of damage on Stampede. Yes. And... He didn't go for the, the return aura, though, or the, what is it called? Yeah, the return strength damage, but either way, looks like we're going to have some action. Paparazzi jumps in onto Puppy. They're going to find that kill. Another Bloodstone charge for him. He's going to zip on it again. Remember, he does have Aegis. Looks like we have it. Okay, the Black Hole. Is that canceled? Oh, no, for Secret. Fata now on the run as Vici Gaming are invading their base. That's two kills in the blink of an eye. And all they lose is the Bane Elemental. Lan Am with the Enchant Totem, another zip in. Looks like Ori has the Exorcism applied. Echo Slam goes off. It's a three for one now for Vici. And with that Exorcism, you have to think they're going to attempt to go high ground if the creeps are 
And they are. There's two Siege Creeps, in fact. Good lord. I'm really impressed with Fenrir's play this game with how little farm he has in the Bane. Getting late game key grips like that is not that easy. Yeah, 38 minutes. to buy back out of Enigma, but they know that the black hole is down. Paparazzi, he's getting pretty low, but again, still has Aegis to work with. Ori's exorcism has now expired. But Young Eleven trying to aggro that tower so he can take it down with that return. They'll be able to get the tier three, if not more. From Team Seeker trying to even this game, but they're gonna zip on in oh, on the five with the Fissure. It's gonna be close, he's gonna force up the other side of the, the Fissure. Ori jumps in as well, mid one with the BKB attempting to get out, but will not do so. That's a godlike streak for Paparazzi, who's unstoppable right now. No, he's godlike. Wants to, he wants to use that Aegis, shut your mouth, as this Rax looks like it will fall. And Team Secret on, on the backside here. We'll lose that bottom Rax, and the question is, will Vici continue on knowing that Sniper is dead for 60 seconds? Absolutely, they have nothing to pick off for. They Young have, 11 with that heart. Oh, look at this positioning from him. Three towers being damaged by him. Meanwhile, Storm Spirit zoning everyone out. He gets Telekinese, but pretty sure he could just zip away to safety. Another minute 20 on that He's trying Aegis. to communicate with us. What does it say? It says D. <laughs> Destruction, I believe, as this mid racks go down. Look at this, these tier four towers just getting decimated by Centaur. Still has Stampede to work with as well. Remember, lots of damage can be applied with that. Thanks to all that strength gain he's, he's gotten on the hero with that heart. And the tier three top is next. No sniper for 18 seconds. Paparazzi jumps in again. Fade Bolt is there. Looks like he's going to try to take out this puppy Night Stalker again. Get actually does go down to the Orchid. With the tier 3 tower, still standing for now, but you have to think it's going to keep going here. Sniper, though, is back. So does Vici continue on? They still have Aegis for another 30 seconds. They have to be very careful with the timing here. Of course, even if he dies without Aegis, he's going to be up pretty much instantly. He's going to zip on in again, this time onto Razor. He will die finally. Echo Spike onto oh. two with the Fissure, and that should do it. GG's come out, and Vici Gaming have tied this up, turned this series into a best of three. I think there's a couple of things to highlight in this game from Vici Gaming. I think Paparazzi got a lot out of this game on the Storm Spirit, obviously. Had a great matchup in the game, took advantage of it. Uh, I was trying to get the time to talk about this uh, Bane, getting a couple of key fiend scripts, especially the one outside Secret Space where he gets the instant cancel on a good black hole from Fata, which is all the more impressive when the only item that this Bane had was like a Windlace and Tranquil Boots. He didn't even have any range item or mobility item, but still playing in a Good position. What is that? Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> I can see that from Slacks. Thanks, Slacks. Nobody can see that idiot. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs>